Welcome back guys, good morning, and we have another good video for you. Unfortunately, you know, not all the videos I do is heartwarming, happy, fun, go lucky, happy go lucky type of videos regarding coins, because this is the other side of the, of the kind of business that we all see, and that is identifying cleaned coins. How does it affect value? And yeah, what do you do in this instance? Uh, you know, they, this is going to be kind of a cautionary tale for a lot of folks. A lot of new collectors don't realize that applying just a little bit of pressure on a coin with, you know, your, your shirt or a cloth or, you know, a Brillo pad or a toilet bowl brush, it, it could have irre, irre, uh, irreparable damage done to a coin to the point where some of these coins lose you know as much as 50 60 percent of their value so i've i have fought my top five heartbreakers for the morning that i wanted to share with you but before we get started as always hit the um subscribe and hit the bell for instant notifications why is this important well we're coming up into the summer months here and i'm going to be doing a bunch of giveaways we're going to be doing gift cards silver coins you name it it's going to be a lot of fun and it's just going to be my way of giving back to the community to my subscriber base to the patrons that watch the videos so you guys get ready to go should be a lot of fun but let's go ahead and take a look take a look at five coins that are absolute heartbreakers because of cleaning so I thought about how I wanted to approach this video. Okay, so I have the five coins uh, They're all graded. Okay, so they're all in some sort of third-party grading slab Container, okay, so it's either gonna be PCGS or NGC that is Highlighted in this video. Okay, that's important because it's not gonna be My personal take on the coin. It's gonna be you know uh, something that has been authenticated by a third-party grader as being a details cleaned coin already so there's no guesswork involved it is what it is and unfortunately that's the nature of the business second of all okay we're gonna go talk about a few important pieces about each coin okay the all these coins on this list are what I would typically refer to as kind of the extremes okay they're all kind of like a key date rarity low mintage uh very well-known variety you know all these coins are going to be represented on here because they have extraordinary values and i want you to see exactly how much we're talking about as far as market value in comparison to how much they've lost value as a result of some sort of improper cleaning care on these coins um and third okay what i wanted to address is the kind of like the 800 pound white elephant in the room is it safe to clean coins okay usually i'll say no okay as a matter of fact it is, it is a hard no um, if you were to clean coins okay keep in mind this will do long-term irreparable damage to your coin okay you cannot reverse the process when it comes to cleaning um, you know usually a nice dip and distilled water would do to knock off a little bit of dirt and grime but if you're trying to get some of that you know as uh, some hard caked on stuff on there keep in mind you are going to damage a coin if you try and apply any pressure or any friction to your coins okay that is important all right so whew, without further ado we are going to get into the top five heartbreakers I have here for you okay and then of course we're gonna do it the Blue Ridge way we're gonna start off big ladies and gentlemen and we have an 1892 <laughs> Liberty double eagle $20 face value this one is a PCGS genuine reverse uh, um, the reverse is cleaned on this one okay and it's actually notated on the slab label as you can see here um, it's interesting that only one side of it is uh, is clean all right but just because it's one side it doesn't minimize the actual damage that you know people are doing when they go to clean their coins you know just so they have a better eye appeal okay it really doesn't work out that way because it strips all of the collector value so this one right here and by the way all five of these coins are on eBay uh, for sale they haven't been sold yet Okay, but I wanted to talk about how much these sellers are asking 
for these coins. Okay, so this one right here, if we were to look at the PCGS price guide, um, has a mid state 60 grade value of $23,500. So that's on the low end. Okay, so this one right here is a PCGS genuine unk. Um, but a PCGS price guide value uh, at a 65 plus is $150,000. Okay, this is actually a very rare coin with a mintage of only 4430 So it's not like there's a whole bunch of them out there. It's kind of like take what you could find. Um, I've looked around. There's not a whole lot of other 1892 double eagles that exist in the marketplace currently. So this one right here might actually be a bargain. Now the seller is asking $19,950 or best offer. All right. So as you can see, in relation to that low, um, honest graded mid state 60 PCGS price guide value of 23.5, the seller is all automatically assuming a 25% decrease in price as a result of the cleaning, even though it is only one side. So let's go ahead and take a quick look on the reverse of the coin that you see here. Obviously, you see the bevy of various hairlines uh, all over the fields. You can even see some on the actual relief of the coin, the actual design devices. These are the things that you look for when you're shopping for coins. So if you find something like this that's uber rare and you want to buy it, but it's not graded, at least know what you're looking at, okay? When you have a light hitting up against a coin that's been cleaned, the hairlines are extremely prevalent on these coins. So that's the 1892. It's lost quite a bit of value. Not sure what the uh, seller is looking for in terms of a, a hit figure on this one, but it's a far departure of what the PCGS price guide value is on this coin. So coming up next is another coin that I highly identify as one of the consummate key dates in the Morgan Dollar series, and that's the 1889 Carson City. Okay, that I ended up buying a cleaned example myself just so I could have one that's affordable. Okay, I paid less than a thousand dollars for what is, as far as a technical grade, a VF cleaned coin. I'm looking to someday upgrade that into one that is an honest, uncleaned example, but they are tough to find. This one right here is graded NGC Unk Details. So it is, in retrospect, an uncirculated coin, but it's been cleaned. Uh, as a matter of fact, they call it improperly cleaned. So as far as the cleaning on this coin, you can see, and this is actually a coin that, that will stump a lot of people. People will think and look at this coin as being one that is honest aid, and in, in reality, it has a lot of issues. If you were to take a close look, and the reason why I didn't use any guide arrows or anything like on uh, like that on this particular video is it's going to also educate you guys to take a look at certain devices on the coin and identify where some of the features and cleaning and all that stuff is occurring. So on this coin right here, if you looked on the obverse, which is the front of the coin, you're going to see some pretty faint hairlines on the face, the cheek, and neck of Liberty. All right, and then uh, if you look on the actual fields where it's nice and flat, there's nothing there. Um, the luster isn't strong. Okay, if it was a truly uncirculated mid-state coin, you'll see kind of this radiant cartwheel luster effect happening. Okay, but once you clean a coin, you rob that you rob a coin of that original luster. If we look at the reverse of the coin. It shows virtually very little luster in the fields. As a matter of fact, you see a couple dark patches in there. Uh, you also see a few hairlines on the uh, relief. Um, but all in all, again, this is one that could trick a lot of people if it wasn't graded. So you want to be able to discern what you're seeing when you're buying a raw coin. So this one right here is a, has a mintage of 350000 uh, PCGS price guide range is from 62 to 65, uh, assuming that they are honest and unclean. At 62, this is a $40,000 coin. And get this, at mid-state 65, it has a value of $375,000. Now, the seller on this one, let me go ahead and double check, is asking... 
$15,000 or best offer. That's a huge drop off for a coin that if it wasn't clean, could have been about worth about two and a half times the actual value of this example that you see here. So man, what a huge drop off on this one. But that's the 1889cc. Coming up next is another highly identifiable key day coin and that's the 1856 Flying Eagle Scent. All right, this one graded PCGS proof VF details and it is clean. Now, even a coin of this caliber where it has some wear will still exhibit some of the sharpness and quality of a proof coin. All right, this one right here looks pretty washed out. It's splotchy. You can tell just by looking at the picture, you have a few of the tan splotchy areas on the coin. Um, the brownness is uneven around the relief of both the front and the back of the coin. Um, you know, this one undeniably could have been worth, you know, at a VF30 uh, uh, per PCGS's price guide calculator as a $12,650 coin. Now get this, the mintage is low, okay? It's only 2,000 pieces. So this seller right here is asking $10,250, okay? That's probably right for the market. You just need one buyer who is willing to cough up that kind of money for one of the rarest key coins in US coin history. So that's the 1856 Flying Eagle. Now here's another one uh, that a lot of people know about. And while it's a really attractive variety, it's one that is not particularly rare, okay? It's been speculated over 50,000 1955 double die offers Lincoln cents exist in the marketplace, okay? Which is a nice stout number. This example right here is an NGC unk details so it is an uncirculated coin okay probably a brown um this one right here is absolutely splotchy i know the pictures look terrible but the seller took images of the entire slab and the resolution wasn't that great so i'm you know i'm working with what they got but this is a coin here that he's asking sixteen hundred and fifty dollars for while that still seems like a lot of money that is probably within the market for this coin because a mint state 63 brown PCGS price guide value is $2,850. So that's a huge drop off of, um, you know, right around 40%, 45% of the actual value of the coin. So as you can see through four coins, a lot of value lost here, guys. So we have one more, and I left the most drastic, the most devastating clean job on the list and it's on a coin that just breaks my heart is one of my favorites and that's the 1916 d mercury dime as we all know mercury dimes one of the most popular collected coins in coinage history this one right here with a mintage of 264,000, is the key date this is the creme de la creme of mercury dimes this one graded ngc unk details all right, and this one has a PCGS price guide value from 60 to 66. At the 60 level, $12,500. At 66, $39,000. And this is assuming that it is not full split bands. Okay, if it's full split bands, we're talking about a completely different ball of wax. And these things go into the hundreds of thousands of dollars in those higher grades. But we're assuming that it's not a full split band coin so this one right here the seller is asking six uh, seven thousand six hundred and fifty dollars or best offer can you imagine if this thing was not clean it probably would have been like a mint state 64 or 65 it would have been a twenty five thousand dollar coin in the most extreme of extremes i left this one last because this is again kind of like a wake-up moment for a lot of people who you know who ask and inquire about cleaning coins and i'm telling you don't do it guys uh if you have an old collection do not touch it originality pays you the big bucks so i want to thank everyone for joining in on this video uh albeit a little heartbreaking but it's also a little educational lesson for everyone do not clean your coins 
I'm your host, Sean, with Blue Ridge Silverhound. Thank you for joining in. Don't forget to share, subscribe. Would love to hear your comments about what we have going on here today. You guys take care. Have a wonderful Friday, and I'll see you on the next one.